he's afraid of his horse. And he don't like cattle, just a Hollywood cowboy, full of Western glamour. He's a dangerous gent in a Miller grammar. The girl crumples, take me, a dozen every day. No, take me. But he just stands there pointing, saying, I whip that away. He's a dandelion hero. Moving cool and lazy, just a flick of his wrist, and the girls go crazy. When bandits appear, he's always full of points. He shoots them full of bullets, but he just can't stand the noise. Like a Hollywood hero, he got his gun. I think Mr. Castle is expecting me. I'm A.J. Furnival, attorney at law. Oh, yes. You come in, please. Mrs. Castle, he outside on the terrace. This way. in the studio saying I've been getting a little slow on the draw. <laughs> Stuck. I'm uh, A.J. Furnival. And Mr. Castle, I don't think you're slow on the draw. Well, thanks. Uh, you're the lawyer? That's right. And before we get down to business, I, I would like to tell you how much I've enjoyed you in pictures. I think your movies are really the best entertainment of all. What's more, they've done so much to influence the youth of America. They have? Mm-hmm. As a matter of fact, my nephew, Arnold, who's all of seven years old, he won't even go to bed without his Ben Castle spurs. <laughs> <laughs> Must be a little hard in the sheets. Oh, uh, I, I meant that he, he has them on a chair beside his bed. Oh, sure. Say, do you mind if we sit down? These darn high heel cowboy boots can be terrible pains in the arch. Not at all, here. Thank you. Mr. Grant said that you had some slight legal problem. Yes, yeah, sort of. I, it's it's kind of hard to talk to a woman. Well, I, I mean, it's, it's hard to talk business to a woman. Well, you, you mustn't think of me as a woman. You must think of me as a lawyer. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, the fact is... Yes? But you, you see, uh, uh, this case involves... Yes. Uh, where was I? You were thinking of me as a lawyer. Silly. I was? Is this a, uh, a criminal case, Mr. Castle? No. Uh, I mean, not yet. 
You see, I was in Nevada. I, uh, I was over in location in Las Vegas. There was a friendly little dice game between me and a fellow called Harry Callan. Oh, uh, how friendly. $60,000 friendly. Well, was the uh, game honest? Mr. Callan didn't seem to think so. Oh, well, why not? Well, at the time, I didn't have the 60000 And he got a little excited, naturally, so I signed a note, and now it's past due, so... Mr. See... Castle, in Nevada, gambling debts are collectible. Oh, yes. However, in the case of Sunshine Parlor versus McHenry, the California courts ruled that such debts are not collectible in this state. When you signed this note, was it uh, witnessed? Mm. All right. Well, then I think we may logically presume that no exchange of benefits occurred. You may or may not feel morally obligated to repay this, Mr... Callan. Callan? Mm -hmm. Uh, but I don't believe that this would come within the compass of a court action, even in the state of Nevada. So it is my opinion that you really have nothing to worry about. <laughs> but you don't know Mr. Callan. He has friends with guns. Oh. Well, what about the police? Like I said, you don't know Mr. Callan. I see. Well, why are you hesitating well, to make... I don't have the $60,000. Well, not that I'm extravagant. As you can see, I'm a man of very simple taste, but in these days, every little thing adds up. So I, I thought maybe you could have a little conference with Mr. Callan and uh, reach some sort of settlement. Well, I certainly think it's worth a try. Good. What's your address? We can fly to Vegas tonight. My man will pick you up at 7. Fly to Vegas? Is there any reason why you can't make it? I... Well, I... Of course not. I... I... Of course there is. <clears throat> Here's my address. I'll uh, try to be ready on time, Mr. Castle. And... Goodbye. I hope our association will be satisfactory and... Mutually beneficial. Oh, yes. And, Mr. Castle, I still don't think you're slow on the draw. What did he say? He says he'll pick you up at seven. That's what I like about this room. It always looks lived in. Come on, let's not milk this gag now. Let's go. Well, you'd think a couple of gals like us could afford more luxurious quarters. Oh, but I guess we'd rather put our paychecks on our backs. Uh -oh, would you hand me that sweater out, please? Thank you. I think I'm psychic, A.J., but are you by chance going somewhere? Las Vegas. Las Vegas? You? Mm -hmm. Just for overnight. It's a business conference. I'm going with a client. Incidentally, Mr. Grant recommended me to him. Oh, a him. A suit or suing? Married or single? Come on, give me the details. The relationship between attorney and client is one of strictest confidence. Now, look, would you get my uh, nail polish, please? Well, who have you got more confidence in than your roommate? What kind of a case is it? Of uh, my uh, stockings, too, huh? Oh, loosen up, A.J. What sort of a guy is he? Here. You know, I kind of like your new short haircut. Don't change the subject. I was trying to... You do? Well, the girls at the shop said since I cut my hair so short, I don't look like a little old lady anymore. No? No. Nope. I look like a little old man now, don't I? Would you get the buzzer for me, please? Mm -hmm. Hello? Mr. Castle said pick up your way, take to the airport. How was that again, please? Mr. Castle, call here. Speak English. We ain't caught downstairs. You hurry up pretty quick. Okay, she'll be right there. Strict confidence, huh? And with a foreign accent. Oh, that couldn't have been him. That must have been his chauffeur. Chauffeur? What? Say, who is this client? Well, if you won't say anything, it's... Ben Castle. Ben Castle? Oh, 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 
I better help you pack. Oh, you better take your bathing suit, boy. And yeah, we'll dance. Wait a minute. What am I saying? You're going to Las Vegas with Wild Ben Castle. Look, I don't need those things. Now, come on, give me a hand. Give me a hand. Oh, listen, Alice, listen up. Huh? Take that thing there. Well, well, you better listen to your Aunt Alice. I've heard plenty about that guy, John the Beauty Parlor. Every dame in Southern California's been out with him. Oh, I know. He's been a perfect gentleman with me. And besides, it's just a business trip. Yeah, well, you got an awful lot of stuff in there for just an overnight hop. Well, I don't know what I'll be called upon to do. That's what I mean. Oh, Alice, goodbye. Now, wait a minute. I'm telling you, A.J., you take care of yourself. Watch that cowboy. He go oh, away I... with women. Uh, briefcase, briefcase. Yeah, and you take care that he doesn't forget that you're a lawyer. Coat, coat. Yeah, you take care of that coat. It's mine, you know. Wow. Wild Ben Castle. Should happen to me, <gasps> I suppose you're the party Ben's taking to Las Vegas tonight. Oh, I beg your pardon. I I, uh, I was hunting for a different girl. Oh, no, I think you might be hunting for me. I'm A.J. Furnival, Mr. Castle's attorney. Oh, yeah, sure. Glad to meet you. I'm uh, Steve Hall, his pilot. Oh. Oh, aren't we going on a commercial flight? No, I'm uh, taking you on my ship. Ben likes to travel in style. Tonight, he's traveling in better style than usual. Oh, thank you. Why, shucks, partner, you know I don't need nothing but a fence post to tie my cayuse to, or a piece of dry ground to throw my bedroll on. In the morning, of course, I may need a little greasewood to cook up a mess of flapjacks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Uh, oh, you won't need to register, miss. I'll just put down Mr. Castle and party. Oh, but don't you think I should? I mean, uh, I don't know the municipal code of Las Vegas, but uh, most cities have a section similar to Los Angeles 47.01, which requires that every hotel guest register. Uh, of course, unless they're a uh, man and wife. Uh -huh. uh, what? Uh, Miss Furnival happens to be my attorney. Oh, well, in that case, uh, may I help you? Mr. Castle's key. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, Mr. Castle. Mm hmm? If you were planning on entertaining any friends in the hotel this weekend, uh, remember, hotel furniture costs money, too. Why, sure, man. Go along, boy. Oh, Mr. Castle! Oh, please. Why, sure. We heard you were in Las Vegas. Oh, please, Mr. Castle. You're such a convincing actor. Well, thank you, honey. Oh, Yes. <laughs> hey, where's your gun, Strupalon? Smile when you say that, partner. <laughs> My, this is very attractive. Yeah, it'll sort of shell you from the winds off the prairie. You, uh, you bet in there, little gal. Oh, fine. Give me the key. I'll, uh, I'll fend for myself, boy. Oh, Mr. Castle, if you don't mind, not boy. Hmm? Uh, don't call me boy. Ooh, well, sure. Sure, anything you say, son. Young lady, I just come out here from Vermont. That Mr. Castle, he's the first movie star I've ever seen. Close to. Oh, really? Yep. And he's just as natural off the screen as he is on it. Well, I'll put this in the closet. Operator. Now, honey, this is Ben Castle. Oh, yes, Mr. Castle. Ah, uh, honey, you know, you got an awfully sweet voice. You married? Yes, I am, Mr. Castle. 
Oh. Well, say hello to your husband for me. And honey, uh, could you get me one of those drive-yourself cars, you know, a, a convertible? Yes, sir, Mr. Castle. <laughs> uh, do you know if Harry Callan's around the hotel tonight? I put a call through to him in the Golden Horseshoe Room a little while ago, Mr. Castle. Thanks, honey. I, I, I keep a, a sort of a wardrobe here with the management, you see. I, I, whenever I'm away from Hollywood, I, I, I gotta wear this getup. It's, it's in my contract. I can't help it. My, you look beautiful. Hmm? Uh, I mean, lovely. Fine. Well, you, you, you like it, really? Mm hmm oh, I think this is not too bad. It's, uh, <laughs> it's in my initials there, see, PC. There. My name is on the back. See, Van Castle? It's kind of cute, huh? <laughs> Uh, what's it? Oh, I'll, I, uh, I bed down in there. Mm -hmm. Well, you see, it, it's all in one cottage, and, and I, I always, I, well, I mean, I, I usually, well, uh, if you'd rather, I, I can make different arrangements. No, no, that's, that's quite all right. I, I, I trust you. You do? Implicitly. Callan's in the dining room, so any time that you're ready, why? Oh. Well, if you'll just give me uh, about ten minutes. Yeah, sure. See, maybe you better keep this thing locked at that. You know, this is still a pretty wild country. You mean the West is still pretty wild, Chef? No. I mean, there's still a lot of wolves in the Mar Hills, gal. to meet my attorney, Miss Furnival. How do you do? A.J. Furnival. A.J. Furnival? Yeah, it, her name is Abigail Jane, but everybody calls her <laughs> A.J. Nice to know you, Miss Furnival. Won't you sit down? Why did you have to bring a lawyer? Well, uh... I understand that Mr. Castle has given you a note, and I'm here to... I don't need a lawyer to tell me that his note is no good. Well, in that case, I... And I'm quite sure that Ben wouldn't feel comfortable if he didn't pay his gambling debts. Well, I, I want to know what's right, Harry. Now, I want you to, Ben. Mr. That's... Callan. Thank you. Ricky. I'm afraid you'll have to excuse us. We've just found out that there's someone in town that we don't want to run into. Funny, there's always people that you don't want to see. Isn't that so, Ben? You didn't want to have to see me, did you? Not really, no. But, Mr. Callan, uh, I would like to discuss my client's problem. Perhaps we, we might reach a... A, a settlement of some kind. Yes, perhaps we could. I'll be back here about 2 o'clock in the morning. 
It'll be quieter then. And it's been nice meeting you, Miss uh, A.J. Furnival. That's right. Well, have fun. Enjoy yourselves. It's a short life. Nice girl like you should be having fun. Is wasting her life tied down to a lot of dull law books and mortgages and uh, babyesses, corpuses, or whatever you call them. <laughs> well, it's very easy to explain. My my father wanted a boy. He did. Mm -hmm. He must have been pretty stupid. <laughs> well, uh, would you like to dance? I'd love to. Well. Hi, Mr. Castle. Uh, I figured you'd want the usual two Ben Castle specials. Uh, well, uh, thanks, Irene. Just put them on the table, huh? Ah, this is more like it. You know, it's kind of funny. What? About me and the law. Listen, you can take it from me. There's nothing funny about the law. <laughs> no, no, you just said because I was a lawyer, I, I wasn't able to really enjoy myself. Uh -huh. And I was thinking that if I hadn't studied my Blackstone and uh, you hadn't needed counsel, you wouldn't have hired me and <laughs> we wouldn't be in Las Vegas and I wouldn't be dancing with Ben Castle. Enjoying myself. Yeah, well, I... I guess that could make some logic. <laughs> I bet you wish this was a square dance, don't you? Me? A square dance? Well, you know, like the one you did in Danger Pass. I saw it in Westwood last week. Danger Pass? Uh-huh. Oh, Danger Pass. Let's see, now, whose side was I on in that one? The cattlemen or the sheep herders? Well, don't you remember? Or, or you, was you against four or five outlaws and... And just before the end of the picture, there was a great big fight, and... There always is. <laughs> and after the fight, why, you and the rancher's daughter, I think her name was Jenny, wasn't it? It always is, yeah. <laughs> well, you both walked to the edge of the canyon, and she looked up at you and said, because of you, everything will be different tomorrow. Sure, sure, I remember now. And then I said, uh... That's one thing about the West, Jenny. The West is tomorrow. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, there was something in that scene that sort of puzzled me. Huh. Uh, well, um, you you were sitting so close to her, and and you, you sort of took her hand, and uh, and then you said. Uh, how about going for a ride in the moonlight? How about going? I, I rented a car. It'd be kind of silly to waste it. Come to think of it, that's right. Here's two more of the same. What's the matter, Mr. Castle? You're a little behind schedule tonight. Oh, I, I wouldn't say that, Irene. On your left, ladies and gentlemen, we see Hoover Dam, one of the largest structures in the world, an engineering feat unparalleled in the history of mankind. Besides, it has a mighty pretty view. You want to take a look at it, don't you? Well, that's what we came for, isn't it? I don't know, it makes you feel so insignificant. Yeah, it does, but not you. You're mighty significant to me. Here in this moonlight. Moonlight is, is wonderful. It's so mysterious and so romantic. AJ, did anybody ever tell you that? I never kissed a lawyer. 
time before. Hmm? How was it? Well, I just happened to think that kissing a lawyer might bring along a long string of consequences. I'm not interested in consequences. Well, you should be. legal consequences if a if a guy should take a girl in his arms in the moonlight and, and kiss her and there was nobody around for miles and miles and miles no no witnesses that's right no witnesses and suppose this guy that we'll call uh, the party of the first part yeah Suppose, suppose this guy should say to the girl, I love you. And, uh, suppose the girl should look up to the guy and say, I think I love you too. And then suppose the guy should say to the girl, Will you marry me? Yes. 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 You know, you, you took the words right out of my mouth. I ought to wait here while you, you, you talk to him alone. You know, the direct approach, man to man. I mean, the woman, to, you know, well, you know what I mean. I, I, I know what you mean. Darling. Hmm. For luck. Oh, yeah, sure. Dear friend, there's one thing I want to know. Do you really like this girl? Do I really? Well, sure I like her. Hello. Hello. This is my office. Won't you sit down? Thank you. Vicki. Well, let's get on with it, shall we? You know, that sounded exactly like your father. My father? Did, did you know my father? Yeah. Swell guy, fine attorney. He represented me many times. I heard he had some financial trouble a few years ago. I should have stepped in then, but I put it off, and then it was too late. Well, that's right, but how, how did you know? I find it pays to check with people that I'm about to do business with. I have friends in Los Angeles, so I checked. But my friends in Los Angeles uh, left out something. They didn't tell me anything about this. Oh, well, I, I, I just... Got this tonight. The cowboy. Mm-hmm. He's a lucky guy. The more I think of it, he's a very lucky guy. Excuse me, I want to congratulate the group. Well, congratulations, Ben. Congratulations? For what, Harry? You just got married, didn't you? Oh, that, yeah, sure. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Under the circumstances, I think I ought to give you a wedding present. You can forget that 60000 Ben. I'll tear up the note. Good luck, Mrs. Castle. And if the cowboy turns out to be the wrong kind of a husband, you know where to find me. Well, this time you've really surpassed yourself. All the cheap, dirty, low-down, double-crossing. What? I said double-crossing. Wait a minute, Steve. What are you trying to say? Nothing. I think I've already said it. Wait. I don't believe I quite understand. Forget it. 
Just sour grapes. I, uh, I wouldn't pay any attention to that bird man if I were you. Well, then why don't you explain to me what he means, Ben? Me? Well, I, I haven't the faintest idea. Well, I, uh, I think I'm beginning to get one. You knew all the time. You knew all the time that there was some past connection between my father and Harry Callan, didn't you? Well, when Mr. Grant suggested you as an attorney, he... he might possibly have mentioned it. Did he... Uh, suggest that you marry me, too? Oh, no. That was my idea. Yes, I'm certain it was. Steve, take me back to Los Angeles. Stay here, now, wait a minute. You gotta look at it from my side. again and mix one for yourself, boy. Now, don't call me boy. Mm, oh, I'm sorry. Well, fill it up anyway. Well, I don't know if I should, cowboy. Hey, don't, don't call me cowboy. I'm not, a, you know, I'm going to celebrate my wedding. I just got married, you know. I'm going to celebrate even if I hadn't got a wife. Well, here's luck, cowboy. Yes. I said, please don't call me cowboy. You know, she walked out on me. She's my wife, I'm telling you. She's a very nice girl. Pretty smart, too. She could say I wasn't the right kind of a guy for her. Oh, take it easy, cowboy. Yeah. Now, you, do you mind? Please don't call me cowboy. I'm not a... Don't call me cowboy. Sure, sure. Anything you say, son. I'm sorry. Well, I certainly didn't expect you home at this hour. It must have been a short conference. Yeah. Well, prepare yourself for a shock. It wasn't just a conference. Huh? He married you? Castle? Well, congratulations. I think it's just wonderful, A.J. I never would have believed that you and he... But uh, uh, you're here, and, and you just got married, and uh, uh, shouldn't the groom be around somewhere? He's marrying me with just a planned, cheap trick. He's a cynical, egotistical movie star. Thank heavens I discovered it before I fell in love with him. Oh, sure. Before you fell in love. But you married him. Well, all right. Maybe he wasn't on the up and up. But nobody twisted your arm and forced you to say yes, did they? D do you remember me? I'm the girl that tried to warn you about that cowboy. Hmm. And whose fault is it? Whose fault is it? If you didn't read all the fine print in the contract. Look, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Besides, I'm going to get an annulment tomorrow. An annulment? She whips and a no. Why? I know you pretty well, A.J., and you never would have married him unless you loved him. What's the matter, honey? Are you too proud and dignified to fight for him? Oh, he doesn't want a wife. He doesn't need one. What he needs is somebody to grab hold of him and make a man out of him. Oh, don't they call those things wives? What are you suggesting? Oh, Nelson. Uh, what do you think of me and Bangs? What do you think? I couldn't do it. Maybe over one eye. Hmm? I don't care that much about him. Do you want this all one-sided? Are you suggesting that I live in the same house with him? Some brides do. Well, not me. My only hope is that someday somebody will make him as miserable as he's made me. 
Don't you know the one way a woman can really get even with a man is by living with him? Good morning, Ignacio. Good morning, Missy. Very nice to see you again. Thank you, Ignacio. You make me feel very welcome. Oh, yes. Mrs. Ben Castle gave us the late order. Everybody welcome, especially awfully the young lady. Oh. Oh, oh, yes. Uh, is Mr. Castle up yet? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, boy, she's still she living. He come home very late last night. Yes, I know. Um, there's some luggage and some law books out in my car. Would you uh, go out and get them, please, and put them in the spare bedroom? Are you moving in here? Uh, well, you see, uh, this is my house now. Oh, you buy house? Oh, no, not exactly. You see, Mr. Castle and I were married last night, and I am Mrs. Castle. <laughs> oh, no. You go away. Boy, she's still sleeping. You go away. You come back later. I'm sorry, Ignacio, but I'm staying here. I live here. This is my house. So if you'll be good enough to go out and get my things and bring them in, I'll sort of look around and... Uh, I make myself at home. Yes, Missy. Yes, Missy, some Missy. To Ben, with all my love, Linda. <laughs> Are you a cook here? Mm hmm. Name's Forbes. Well, how do you do, Mrs. Forbes? Is, uh, is breakfast ready? Cowboys is. Where? Over there. Where? Right there! Is it thirsty in the morning? Seven on the eight. Red Queen and the Black King. Well, while I'm sort of, uh, waiting, I may as well learn the routine of the house, the, the laundry days, the menus, and the uh, monthly accounts. Who's been talking to you about my accounts? No one. You have no right to come in here and accuse me of stealing. I didn't accuse you. If you're going to be that kind of a wife watching every penny, I'll... You'll quit? Yes, I will! I had your type spotted the minute you came through the door. Menus, accounts. Believe you me, there isn't room for two women in this house. Well, if that is your decision, believe me, I heartily concur. Wait a minute, you can't fire me. You are so right, because you have just quit. And we'll leave it that way, shall we? Thank you, please. Oh, excuse, poor Missy. Poor, poor Missy. Oh, what's the matter? Publicity man. He called from studio. He say Mr. Bergen very angry when he find out you and Mr. Ben Castle get married. Oh. Mr. Bergen? Who, who's Mr. Bergen? He's a A number one bossy at studio. Have a very bad temper. Publicity man say you and Mrs. Ben Castle take picture this afternoon. Oh, well, we'll be ready, Ignacio. Uh, you not ask Mr. Bergen permission to get married? Well, no. Oh, poor Missy. Poor Mrs. Da Castle. Poor Ignacio. Mr. Castle, your breakfast is ready. Mr. Castle, your breakfast is ready. Put it in the bucket. Oh, my head. Why did you wake me so early for? I didn't get to bed till 7 o'clock. Close the curtains. Mrs. Forbes, close the curtains. There's so much light in here. 
They are closed. They're closed? Well, they are closed. Well, they keep them closed. And, and Mrs. Forbes, please don't let anybody else in this room all day. Oh, who is it? Will you please go away? Please? Mr. Castle, may I have your autograph, please? Yeah, look, I, I, uh, I, autograph? Autograph? How did you get a... Mrs. Forbes, Ignacio, get these people out of here! Well, Mr. Castle, please give me your autograph. Didn't your mother ever tell you that, that I, I don't give autographs? I think you need some coffee. No, no, I don't need any coffee. What I need, I think you don't have to. But I, I needed somebody to talk to. You don't, you don't know what I did, do you? No. I got married. Yes, I know. That, that's not even half of it. My wife left me. But she's back then. Yeah. Somebody else? Well, what difference can one more make? Uh, come in. words with you. I think you should be informed that I've just received notice. Uh, hmm? I've just received notice! Notice? But aren't you a little too old for the draft? I'm not talking about the draft, Mr. Castle. I've just been discharged! Uh, already? But uh, how could you be discharged before you're drafted? Please try to understand me, Mr. Castle. This is far as I am doing the very best I can. I was in the kitchen, slaving my fingers to the bone over a I'm hot not stove. And... My, my headaches. Look, uh, 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 come back later. Hmm? Over a hot stove when your wife came in and told me to get out. Now look at here, cowboy. I've been with you for three long years. And no gal in this house and tell me what to do, much less fire me! It may interest you to know, Mrs. Forbes, that under the law, the kitchen is the special and peculiar province of the wife. As in the case of Perkins versus Perkins, Justice McCarthy ruled for the plaintiff, Jennifer Perkins. Perkins? I've never heard of them. And granted her full jurisdiction in the matter of dismissing domestic employees. Ah, that's right. That's the law. Perkins versus Pickles. So I suggest, Mrs. Forbes, that you start packing immediately. It may be a little while before I can leave. I've got a few things cooking. Noise. Where did everybody go? Hmm? Oh, well, where's my breakfast? Uh, must be on the other side. Ladies, they. <laughs> ah, how do you do? <laughs> ah, you're married too, huh? Whatever happened to my wife, you know? The vanish thing, you see. <laughs> hey, Shay. That's funny. I was just talking about you. I, I was. No. Oh, what's the matter? Oh, uh, you, you should have been here earlier. It was a sellout. Harmony, will you send up three cans of tomato juice, a bottle of Worcestershire sauce, some spirits of ammonia, and two raw eggs? Pardon me. Caption, the cowboy star with his two dearest possessions, his bride and his horse. How's that sound to you, Ben? Well, it's all right with me if Pancho doesn't mind. One, two, three. Got it. Oh, now. Oh, boy, take it easy. Okay, now, Ben, let's get a couple of shots with you in the saddle. Oh, no, not today, Jay. After what I've been through, I can't take it. Oh, but your fans expect it. We'll get Sam to help you on the horse. To help him? 
What does he mean, help him? Why, in his last picture, the sheriff of Dead Man's Gulch, you jumped from the second story right onto Pancho's back, didn't you? Yeah, well, uh, no, not exactly. That, that was my double. What? Well, you might as well know it right away. I hate horses. Yeah, this is Sam Taylor, Abigail. He's Pancho's stable mate. He's what Ben Castle should be, a real cowboy. How do you do, Sam? I'm glad to know him, ma'am. Yes, sir, a real cowboy. Bow-legged, born in the saddle, chews tobacco. Well, let's get this over with, Sam. Hold on, Jake. Don't let him go. You know what a beast he is. All right, Sam. Hold on to me. Don't let me go now. I won't. Wait a minute. Oh. Huh? Take it easy, Pancho. That's it. I'm not going to hurt you. All right. I made it. <laughs> All right, Abigail. One, two, three. Got it. Okay, now Mrs. Castle, a shot at you on Pancho and back of Ben. Give us a different angle. No, no, it's crowded enough up here already. You'll make a good shot. Turn the horse around, Sam. Now, look, nothing fancy. I'll help you. All right. Well, now, take it easy. <laughs> Hold on. Come on, smile, Ben. Look happy. Look at Pancho. He's smiling. Can I look sad in this picture? I feel happier that way. Oh, well. All right, Abigail. One, two, three. Got it. Mr. DeCasto, Mr. DeCasto, newspaper man, he come. Lay off, I need lay off. Oh, oh, I gotta get out of here. Oh. What's the matter? Where are you going? The reporters are here. Help me down. Hold me, hold me. What about me? Now, listen, Mrs. Castle. You're new to all this, so don't say much. Let me and Ben do the talking. They're only interested in the cowboy. You just happen to be married to him. Hi, party boys. Hi, Ben. Congratulations. Thank you kindly. Why did I you to pay us this little visit? Come on. I want you to meet my new little filly, Abigail. Honey, meet my good friends of the press. Well, go on. Say howdy. Howdy. Hi. Say, Ben, how'd you two happen to get acquainted? Well, was this a way, partner? I hired her to represent me in a little legal matter. Legal matter? Yeah. Are you a lawyer, Mrs. Castle? I was A.J. Furnival. I had offices in Beverly Hills. Furnival? Off of Furnival's daughter? That's right. This is an angle. Get your camera over here, Bill. Solo shots of Mrs. Castle. You take a mighty pretty picture, too. You mind getting out of the picture, Ben, please? Huh? I said, would you mind getting out of the picture, please? Oh, no, no, no. Guess not. No. Mrs. Castle, what do you think of the Barton case? Oh, I think it's an open and shut case. There was a similar case before the Supreme Court last April. Uh, the majority opinion by the Chief Justice, six associate justices. You ever consider Curry. going into politics? Oh, no. How do you think a career in a home will make? <clears throat> How about some domestic I, stuff I, on the inside of the house of Mrs. Castle? Great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, Denny, I need you. you, you oh, uh, you too, Ben. We may need you. Yeah, if you don't think I'll be in the way. Uh, I gotta hand it to you, cowboy. You really lassoed quite a girl. Yeah, well, that's just the kind of a prairie flower I've always been looking for. Yeah? <laughs> you could have fooled me. Oh, I sowed a few wild oats, maybe, but shucks, that don't mean nothing. Put the cowboy hat on, Mrs. Castle. Now smile. Thank you, Mrs. Castle. Now we'd like a few shots on the terrace. Good idea. I'll round up some props. Why did Johnny's got here? Just as he always says, nothing too good with a cowboy. Fire, almost a lady now, Mr. Hallisey. Well, boys, here I am. Yeah. What can we have it do now, Jake? Oh, there must be a million shots we can get out here on the terrace. Uh, let's see. How about one of her sitting on a couch reading a magazine? Hey, how about that? Mr. Castle? Yes? I haven't finished packing yet. There's been some telephone calls. Old friends? Yeah, uh, well, uh, never mind that right now, Mrs. Forbes. <laughs> I'll tell her you'll call back later. Ben, hmm? how about putting a little romance in these shots? Know what I mean? Yeah, sure. Well, I don't mind if Abby doesn't. Do you, Abby? No, I don't mind at all. After all, she's my wife. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm his wife. Yeah. Well. Uh, no, Ben. Kiss it. <laughs> Got it! Boy, that's my All right, all right, that ought to 
That'll be enough for you. Let's give him a break. Chuck wagon food? Mm. You? That's the only thing about the West I do like. Turn it off. Hmm? Turn off the radio. Hmm. Don't you, uh, Remember that? Hmm. You don't remember that song? No. Well, that, uh, that was out of your picture, Deadwood Dick. Yeah, sure. Would you, uh, would you do me a favor? Yeah, sure. Anything. Would you sing it for me? No? Uh, well, I, uh, I don't remember that, that song very well. I have to... After all, that, that was a long time ago, you know. Oh, please, please. Yeah, well, uh, I have to get my guitar. Ignacio, come here. Put on a record. Now, uh, I want you to close your eyes, little gal, and try to use your imagination. Wandering around since I found my true love. No more hitting the trail, looking for a new love. No more wandering around, rounding up the cattle. Let them have a stampede, they can all skedaddle. So goodbye, old pain. My guns ain't spitting lead. I'm through with chasing rustlers. Gonna chase my gal instead. I'll be settling down. You can keep the prairie. I'll be happy in town with the gal I'm married. I just pretend that they get another guy and they, they, they dub in his voice and guitar. <laughs> it's, it's not that I don't like music. It's just that I, I, I can't carry a tune. Somebody else rides, Poncho. Somebody else sings for you. Isn't there anything that you can do for yourself? You w hey, hey, here they are, everybody. The oh, new oh, that I haven't gotten. Well, what is she doing? This is her, isn't it? Yes. Hello, honey. Abby, uh, these are some friends of mine. I, I want you to meet my wife, Abigail. Abigail. Hi. Hey, that calls for a drink. Yeah. Yeah, Come on. Oh, yeah. now will you look at what I found? <laughs> He's been giving her his old record routine. Oh, he played no. for me that night down by the swimming pool. 
Remember, Ben? I remember the night the needle got stuck. <laughs> Tell me, how did you meet the little lady? Well, oh, I... Liar! <laughs> never mind. Hey, you haven't forgotten you uh, promised me a part in your next picture. Listen, honey, I never went back and a promise on you yet. Hey, no, let's all go to the Macombo. Oh, that's that? a great oh, idea. Yeah. They have a new singer there. You'd like her, Ben. She's just your type. Look, uh, you you all run on ahead. I'll, I'll join you at the, later at the place. Okay, okay Ben. Yeah. Hurry up, will you? Yeah. It's a studio, Mr. Castle. Well, tell him I'll call back later. But it's a J. Norman Biggin. Big? Oh, Bergen, yeah. Hello? Hello, J. Ann. I, I can't talk to you right now. I'm sorry. I... Yes, J. Ann. Yes, Mr. Bergen. Yes, sir. I know what my contract says. I'll see you in the morning. No, no, I, I don't think I can bring my lawyer with me. I, I don't... Uh, hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe I can. J.N., you're absolutely right. That's the thing to do. I'll see you in the morning. Remember, A.J., he's a man with a very strong will, a very determined nature, and he irritates very easily. Besides all that, he's my boss. If you would prefer another counsel, hey, no, no, I no, 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 you stay where you are. I'll see if I can round him up. I sure hope this is one of his good days. Bergen. Oh, hello, Sam. Howdy. Hello, Poncho. <laughs> Some horse, huh? Yes, he certainly is. He's the most valuable actor in Apex Allied. Oh? You know how many people paid to see his picture last year? Twenty-five million. That's it. You talk to him. Mr. Bergen, where are you? <laughs> yeah, I can hear you, but where are you? <laughs> oh, stop mumbling. Where are you? Well, I see that you two have already gotten together. This woman with you? Well, in a way, J.N., sometimes. Uh, she's my wife. Your wife? Well, what's she doing here? I told you to bring a lawyer. Well, she's also my lawyer. Right now, I'm a justice lawyer. Well, since you managed to find out how I feel about your client, here's his contract. Do I tear it up or do you? On what grounds? Grounds? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take a look at it. You'll find plenty of grounds. Paragraph 33. He can't get married without permission of the studio. Mr. Bergen, uh, I'm afraid that you'll find that these are very uh, uh, unusual clauses, and I doubt that they will stand the test of a court action. I'll take that, Chet. Telephone call for you, Mr. Castle. Thank you. But... Oh, uh, go ahead, Ben. I I'm almost finished with Mr. Bergen. But, A.J., shouldn't I stay? After all, it, it is my contract. It was your contract. Tomorrow morning, I shall file suit on behalf of my client against Apex Allied Studios for the sum of $150,000. What? I feel confident the courts will uh, sustain such an action for breach of contract and award damages to the plaintiff. Well, he's the one that broke the contract, not me. Mm. What about Clause 17? What about Clause 17? The corporation will give the artist, that's Ben, <clears throat> solo star credit above the title of each picture. He's had it. And uh, in all paid advertising and publicity, furthermore, no other member of the cast may appear in the same size of type as large as that accorded the name of the artist. Mm-hmm. That's what it says. Uh, did you notice this over here, Mr. Bergen? There are two names above the title. 
But that's Pancho's name. He's a horse. But uh, his name is the same size as Ben's. As a matter of fact, I think it's a little bit larger. But he's an animal, not an actor. Didn't you tell me just a few moments ago that Pancho was the most valuable actor you had in your studio? All right. All right. I'm stuck with that no-talent cowboy for another 40 weeks. But when his next option comes up, it's going to drop with a thud. Sure, sure. Any, any time at all, it's fine. Yeah, swell. Goodbye. Hey, A.J., we got to get back to town right away. Yes, but there's something I want to tell you first. Mr. Bergen and I have just torn up your contract. Oh, swell. Everything happens to me at once. No, we've, but, we've reached a new agreement. Uh, that caller was Harry Callan on the phone. He's in town. He might drop in on us, and if you weren't there... Sorry, I won't be there. You can't do this to me. What's it going to save my career if you won't save my neck? Here you are, Mrs. Castle. Notes on what we agreed to, and a check as an advance against Ben's salary. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Bergen. <laughs> You know, you're not as smart a lawyer as I thought you were. I'd have given a $75,000 advance instead of 60. Well, $60,000 would be quite sufficient. <laughs> well, there's your contract. And if Mr. Callan is really in town, you can give him this. Now that all of your problems are solved, you don't need a lawyer, and I'm sure you don't want a wife. So. Why don't you give a big party tonight and celebrate? But... Look, A.J., I don't want to celebrate. I want you. It isn't only because of Callan. Yeah, wait a minute, how am I going to get home? Poncho's in there. Ride him, cowboy. What's this? Oh, that's a picture of me when I won a bathing beauty contest. What year was it? Uh, 1922. <laughs> and what's this? That, uh, that's me when I graduated charm school. Oh. Oh, there I go, fogging up your glasses again. Mm -hmm. well, hello, AJ. Hello. Uh, uh, we were kind of, uh, uh, we were sort of, you're back. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Oh, perish the thought. Uh, this is... Oh, this is Austin Tisdale. How do you do? How do you do? Nice uh, he's assistant cashier uh, at my bank. They sent him over to check up on my account. They think I got more liabilities than assets. Isn't that right, Austin? Well, uh, in a way. Yeah. Oh, here. Oh, Alice, wait a minute. Don't answer that. Oh, I... I think that's uh, uh, one of my clients, and I don't want to talk to him. You mean it's... Yes. And you don't no. want to? Well, she was, why not? Because he misrepresented the facts, and I walked out on the case. You a little late? Well, no, I, but I, I found out in time. Now, you just let that ring. I'm going downstairs and get my law books out of my car. Oh, no, Austin will get them for you. It's a black coupe, the oldest job on the street. You can't miss it. Now, you just tell Aunt Alice what that cowboy did. That thing is liable to ring for hours. I hope it does. This place gets more like a firehouse every day. Hello. 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 If that's who I think it is, I'm not at home. You're wasting your time, cowboy. Well, how do you do? I'm looking for Miss Furnival. Uh, Mrs. Castle. Well, I'll have to see if she's in and announce you. It's just a moment. Hey, it's a man. And a fresh one. I better let him in. Entree. Hi, Abby. Steve, what are you doing here? Well, I, I just saw the morning papers and uh, Oh, uh, I... this is my roommate, Aunt Alice. How do you do? The Aunt part is just a courtesy title. Hi, Aunt Alice. Uh, here's a picture of you with a cowboy, with only a horse between you. What gives? Why? You're wasting your time, cowboy. Oh, it's Austin. Hi. Oh, uh, Mr. Tisdale, Mr. Hall. How are you? How are you doing? 
Oh, uh, I suppose you got some plans, huh? Plans? Uh, did you come to fix the toaster this morning? Well, no, I fixed it last night, don't you remember? Today I'm supposed to start working on the alarm clock. Yeah. What are you going to do? Well, I plan to stay here with Aunt Alice for the rest of my life. Oh, but you can't do that. A girl like you needs a man to... Well, I don't need Ben. But you'll want a home and a, and a guy who will... A guy who'll work for you, make you happy. But Ben is not that kind. Who said anything about Ben? Hello? What? Why, no, our phone is working perfectly. Can't you hear it ring? You're welcome. I don't know. It seems like I always try to come in for a landing when there's a, another plane on the runway. Well. Oh, if you need somebody to fly you to Reno, you know where to find me. Thank you, Steve. What can I do for you, cowboy? I thought I could save you a trip up to my home, so I brought... I told you to forget about paying this. When you got married, things changed. Things have changed back. Abigail's not with me anymore. Why? Well... A lot of reasons. You look as though you miss her, cowboy. I do. It's all my fault, I guess. I, I've tried everything I could think of. Well, there's always some sort of an angle that you can use on a woman. I thought I knew them all. But what kind of an angle can you use on a woman who's an attorney at law? Yes, you have a problem. As a matter of fact, I've got a few of them myself. And your $60,000 can't help solve them. Thanks, Harry. Harry. Now, boy, here's an angle you could use on your wife. J. Ben Castle Furnival at Camp Kilgare in the San Bernardino Mountains. Now, this is a matter of life and death. Mostly death. No! Oh! Oh. 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 Hello? Come in. Mrs. Castle. Hello, Uncle George. Kitten, darling. Uncle George? Yes, Abby always calls me uncle. I've known her ever since she was a little girl. Well, Kitten, I guess the boys have told you that Ben here is in pretty serious trouble. Harry Callan's been murdered, and his bodyguard found Ben at the scene of the crime. He wouldn't even make a statement without his lawyer. So if you want to talk to him alone before... Uh... I think I had better confer with him alone. I hate to do this to you, little gal. I guess you don't stand a chance of winning the case. That's nonsense, Ben. You didn't kill Harry Callan. Of course not, but, uh, but look, look at the evidence against me. I had a motive. I owed him $60,000. But you had a check to pay him. Yeah, but he wouldn't take it. He burned it. Then the guy stepped through the window and shot him. You, you were just a witness. Uh, but I picked up the gun, and I was still holding it when Ricky walked in. Oh, that's still circumstantial and not too serious. I do think you ought to have a good criminal lawyer, though. And a friend uh, of my uh, father... No, no, I, I don't believe in changing horses in the middle of a stream. <laughs> But I, I uh, well, there's so little to go on, and my experience is very limited. Of course, limited. you're afraid to tackle a criminal case. Well, that's ridiculous. I'll have you cleared in 24 hours. They won't even get an indictment. That's more like it. That's my wife talking. Correction. That's your lawyer talking. Now, just one more thing. Would you recognize the killer if you were to see him again? Well, I just got a glimpse of him, but I guess I might. 
Good. Uncle George. Abby, you know Mr. Hillman from the DA's office. Abby, how are you? Hello. Mr. How Castle, are you? Mr. Hillman. Mr. Castle. How are you? <clears throat> well, uh, let's get on with it, shall we? I've uh, just had a talk with my client, and I'm not only convinced of his innocence, but uh, I'm also in possession of certain information which will enable us to produce the real killer within 24 hours. So if you will just release Ben and... Release him? He's our only suspect. Well, I... Uh, could wake up Judge Martins and ask for a writ of habeas corpus, but then it'd be in all the papers that you've been holding an important person like Ben without sufficient evidence. Sufficient evidence? <laughs> Abby, he was found with a gun in his hand. I suppose you've uh, given him the paraffin test. Mm -hmm. Sure. Kind of messy, too. I still got some of it under my fingernails. Well, has he fired a gun in the past 72 hours? No, but the paraffin test isn't conclusive. Well, in addition, I can prove that he had in his possession a check to pay Harry Callan what he owed him. Fred, can she really build a defense out of this? Her father would have. Well, Abby, if you do have any information about the killer, we run it down for you. Uh-uh. Just, uh, just give us until morning and uh, we'll bring in the killer ourselves. If it's okay with you, Fred. Sure. Send a couple of the boys with him. We won't be taking much risk. Abigail? The district attorney's office seems to... Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's entirely up to you, Chief. Now, you know it. Mr. Castle is under your jurisdiction. Oh, thank you, Uncle George. Thank you, Fred. You both have been just wonderful. Come on, then. <laughs> Remember, you just have four hours. Well, that'll be quite sufficient. That'll do it. Come on, then. Hold on, little gal. I sure can't thank you enough, Uncle George. Boys. Stay with them. Don't let them out of your sight. And have them back here at 2 a.m. Yes, sir. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Well, uh... Well, the chief said we could have four hours yeah. to... Yeah, with us as chaperones and in the police car. Oh, well, I didn't have... Uh, oh, Ben. What? Huh? Ben, help what me. What happened? What is what's happened? happened? Oh, oh, I've been having these spells, and I... I didn't want to tell you. Tell me what? Well, the doctor isn't sure yet. Daddy? That you... You mean... Oh, that's... Oh. I mean, that's... That's almost impossible. Get rid of the cops. Yeah, sure. Boys... Boys, you gotta help me. What's wrong, yeah, Mr. Castle? It's my wife. It's our first. I, I feel kind of funny myself. I know how you feel. I've had five. Yeah, well, you should. Water. Water. Well, water. I'll get it. Water. Get it. Water. Oh, oh, I'm so hungry. If only I had something to eat, like, like, strawberries and and pickles or something. Well, I haven't got any strawberries, but I might have some pickles. Oh, oh look, what do you Okay. Oh. It's... Hey, hey, they've gone. Maybe he took them to the hospital. Yeah, that must be it. Hey, we could catch up and clear a path. Oh, sure, that Wait would be a minute. Sense. Wait a minute. What's the matter? How long have those two been married? Well, don't you remember? It was in the papers just last... Yeah. How about that? We've been tricked. Come on, let's get in the car. You were serious when you told the chief we'd bring the killer in, were you? I... This is a pretty big town. I think I know where we might get a lead. Strawberries and pickles. So Callum got his tonight, huh? Uh, figured. Well, uh, Mr. Callum must have had quite a few enemies. Enemies? Mm -hmm. You want names? Don't look at me. You know I got a bad memory for names. And yeah, me too. Boys, you don't understand. This is Abigail Furnival, Arthur's daughter. You know, he did all of us a few good turns. I'd say, uh, Tony Lomack was our pigeon. Uh-uh. Lomack didn't do it. I just finished bailing him out of jail about 15 minutes ago. Wait a minute. What time was Callan bumped off? Oh, I reckon it was a little after 8. And Lomack was picked up by the cops about 8.30. You know, he could have done it at that. Sure. That's why he was in such a big hurry to get out of town. To get out of town? Where was he going? He called the airport from my joint. Something about hiring a plane to get to Mexico. To Mexico? Well, where's the phone? Over there. He gave me a thousand bucks for his bail. I figured he would run away from something more than a traffic rap. You know, I, I want to thank you boys for what you're doing. I want you to know you're helping an innocent man. What's that got to do with it? 
<laughs> well, nothing. Come on, fellas. Yes, that's right, Steve. It's a plane chartered for Mexico, and it's due to leave any minute, and you've got to keep it from taking off. Why? What happened? Well, we're on our way right now. Okay. Dixon. Yeah? You flying that plane to Mexico City? Yeah, why? Well, I tell you. Why are we going this way? Well, this is a shortcut to the airport. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. What if we're after the wrong guy? I mean, how, how can we sh be sure that Lomac is there? Well, we won't know until you see him. Is that Cessna right across from the hangar? It's all revved up and ready to what take off. The, uh, what about the passenger? He hasn't shown up yet. Where's the pilot? Well, he's sort of taken care of. He's huh? waiting on a long distance call. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Come on. What the? <laughs> from Mexico City. Is this it? Yeah, you're, you're the guy I'm waiting for. Lock the door and I'll take care of you. Cancel. What's going on here? You get up there and fly this crate. I'm not a pilot. I, I never flew a plane in my life. I, I... Look, pilot, I'm expecting you to fly me to Mexico. Now get going. Sister, what are you doing here? Get up on your feet. Come on, get up here with him. Come on, move. Get ready to get this plane going. Okay, well, I, I... Get this airplane in the air. Yeah. Take it off. Go on. Well, off we go into the wild blue yonder. Tower to pilot. Tower to pilot Cessna C-706. Tower to pilot Cessna C-706. Are you having trouble? Am I having trouble? Oh, no! Oh! Oh! <laughs> I can't fight without a double! off now. Well, I gotta do something. Let's remember how I captured Billy the Kid and, uh, uh, Billy the Kid is captured? Huh? You be careful. Brave thing you did, Ben. Spike it. Just one more now, the hero and his wife. Take like I congratulated him, Mrs. Castle. You really were brave, Ben. Here, Ben, put on your hat. Mm -hmm. 
Is that better? Mm-hmm. I want to know one thing. What? Do you really like strawberries and pickles? I could learn to. Mm -hmm. 